Hey guys, YouTube Warrior Hunter here. Okay, and I was promised. Now I'm going to be talking about what I thought about the Royal Rumble. Now watching it on pay per view, or rather on the WWE Network. Yeah. So, no. Oh, um. Yeah, I'm sorry that it's taken a few days since I like did the live thoughts video for me to now make this video to talk about how it came off on the network. But yeah, I just had like some like stuff going on on for the last few days like uh i'm currently like going through like a family uh situation right now yeah my sister is actually uh, pregnant right now and uh yeah she's like waiting to like go into child labor like uh, she was scheduled to like uh go into the hospital this past wednesday but then they like sent her home because she wasn't ready yet so yeah now she's just like waiting for the the hospital to really call her back to go in so yeah i'm just yeah, me and my family, we've just, like, kind of been, like, waiting on that. So, yeah, it's just, like, kind of been a little bit of a hectic time. So, yeah, I haven't really been able to actually get around to actually watch this event on the network. as That works for the last few days. But, yeah, I finally was able to, like, watch it, see how it came off on the network as opposed to seeing being there live for it. And, uh, yeah, as far as how it came off watching it on the network, uh, I would say that it's still overall... It did come across as a pretty you know, good, maybe even a great show. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, overall, I would definitely say I think that I definitely got a, some more enjoyment out of this show live. Just because, uh, like I was saying in the live thoughts video, uh, just because, like, the atmosphere at Chase Field, it just was, like, really, really awesome. Like, it just, like, had a really the amazing atmosphere, really. I mean, the crowd was, just, like, hot as hell for so much stuff live. And, yeah, watching it now on the network, uh, yeah, just, like, without that atmosphere, it really just didn't feel, like, as awesome. I mean, it still did come across as, like, a pretty good, great show. I mean, yeah, the matches still did come off, like, really, really good. You know, but, yeah, just, like, without that atmosphere, it really didn't, like, get as much enjoyment out of it. But, yeah, I still did, like, overall like it on the network. Yeah. So... So, well, yeah, let me just talk about the card, how it came off watching it on the network. I mean, yeah, I already really went, went like, all over the card live. So, yeah, I really don't think I really need to go into really as much detail as I did live. But, yeah, I'll just talk about the card, how it came off on the network. So, yeah, like I told you guys, I really didn't see, like, the first two matches that took place on the pre-show. Like, uh, with Bobby and Chad Gable versus Scott Dawson and Bazaar. And then the United States title match between uh, Rusev and Shinsuke Nakamura. So, yeah. But, yeah, I was able to now watch these matches on the network, and, yeah, they were pretty much uh, just uh, all right. I mean, yeah, the match with Bobby Roode and Chad Gable against Scott Dawson and Razor, uh, it was all right, I guess. I mean, there really wasn't anything too memorable about this. It just really was just kind of an average tag match with back and forth action between the two. So, yeah, it really was not a whole lot to really talk about about this match, and, yeah, it just really wasn't. Overall, that memorable. It was just kind of an average match. Not terrible, but not really anything that memorable about it. So, yeah. All right. And then Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the U.S. title. Uh, it did come up. This was a pretty good match overall. I mean, it was just kind of back and forth action once again between Rusev and Nakamura. I mean, yeah, there were some near falls in the match. It looked like there were some times where it could have ended with Nakamura giving, like, some super kicks to Rusev and stuff. Uh, and, yeah, it was a. An entertaining back and forth match, I guess. I mean, nothing anything that spectacular about it, but still, it was enjoyable, I guess. Yeah, so, yeah. And, you know, like, and like I said, live, like, there was, like, a really good pop for Nakamura when he won. And here, like, we really didn't, like, the pop really wasn't really shown that well. So, yeah. Yeah, so this is, like, one of those matches where, where it really didn't come off. Well, yeah, the win really didn't seem, like, as a great without that pop feeling so yeah but still overall it was a good i guess yeah and then yeah that fatal four way for the uh cruiserweight title it pretty much did come off pretty much the same way as it did live i mean yeah still like was enter pretty much just as entertaining and stuff and so yeah this was a match that pretty much like came off on the network pretty much the same as it did live so yeah all right, none of the actual show, Asuka and Becky Lynch, and uh, yeah, once again, this just really was a great match. I mean, yeah, like this is another one where like, 
without that atmosphere, it just this match really wasn't like as exciting as it was live. But this was still a really great match. I mean, I really did like still love this match a lot. Just yeah, you know, I really like see like why it's gotten like as much of high ratings that it has from people that have reviewed it on YouTube. I mean, yeah, it just really this really was like a it is a great match, I mean, just, like, with a lot of, like, submission attempts and stuff, and, yeah, just, like, a really, really great back-and-forth match, and just, yeah, this pay-per-view, well, yeah, seeing this on the network, it really just does not do justice to show, like, how hot the crowd was for Becky Lynch here, so, yeah, yeah, so, you really gotta be there live, like, how it was to really just see, like, just the huge atmosphere and how hot the crowd was for Becky Lynch at this show, but, yeah, this was still, overall, a pretty great match overall. So, yeah, it was good and with a good result, all right? And then, SmackDown Tag Team title, Bar versus Miz and Shane McMahon. Uh, it was still, overall, a good match, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah. So, not watching this on the network, rather than opposed to being there live, this is another one that kind of falls into, like, not being, like, as good as it was live due to the uh, atmosphere, yeah, because... Yeah, like I was saying when I did the uh, live thoughts video, like, like there are people that are kind of getting irritated with Shane, like I don't like the tough guy, and now watching this on the network rather than being there live, I can see I can see better now why people are kind of getting tired of this. That's because yeah, it really does make sense because I can see like with Shane, like, like doing the coast to coast and the elbow drops and the shooting star press, and yeah, just like a lot of the high flying moves that he does, I can like. This is making me see better rather than being there live. Why the crowd really is like getting tired of it. But it still was overall good with a good result. Also, yeah. Yeah. And uh yeah, then uh, Ronda versus Sasha. This was like a uh this was overall was a uh, good on the on the network. I mean, yeah, once again, like not better like it seemed like better live and like had a lot more exciting stuff to it. Oh, yeah, and I should also point out, because there was something that I forgot to really mention when I, like, did the live thoughts video. You know, uh, yeah, the attendance at this, uh, show, it was, uh, 48,193, so, yeah, but, yeah, this show didn't end up actually breaking the attendance record set at Chase Field, yeah, not, yeah, the attendance at this show still didn't break the record of any of the, uh, four World Series games that were at the stadium in 2001. So, yeah, this really did not break the uh, attendance record. So, oh, yeah, eat that, Elias. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know that comment that Elias made during the before the Royal Rumble where the Diamondbacks hadn't seen, like, this many people. So, yeah, eat that, Elias, because they have. This did not break the attendance record. So, yeah, I just wanted to bring that up because, yeah, I didn't actually mention it when not when I did the live box video, so yeah. But anyway, yeah. Ronda versus Sasha. Yeah, this is another one that without that uh, atmosphere in the crowd, it really like didn't like seem like as exciting as it did live at, live on the network. So yeah. No, yeah, but it was still overall so good. I mean, all the submission attempts in this match. Yeah. Something else that I didn't talk about in the live thoughts video was where uh, Ronda Rousey like did the three amigos to uh, Sasha Banks, and yeah, I really just like was saying that that's pretty much like the ultimate insult to Sasha Banks since like Eddie Guerrero is her idol. So yeah, I just like thought that that was like the ultimate yeah, insult to Sasha Banks. Yeah, 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 and yeah, we had like the uh, like both both of them like targeting each other's arms in here. Right, yeah. Yeah, and it was like it was still overall good on the network though. Yeah, I really like thought that it just felt it came off better live. Yeah, pretty much this entire card really did come off better live because as I've been saying, without the atmosphere that the crowd had live, it just like came came across as just being pretty good, well, to great on the a paper well on the network and stuff. So yeah. But yeah, overall good with back and forth action and yeah, good result and good embracement at the end. And a nice little moment with Rhonda celebrating with her husband at the end. So, yeah, overall, good. And then, the Women's Royal Rumble match. Uh, 
this definitely did not come off as well on the network as it did live. Like I told you, like, live, like, it was just, like, really entertaining. And I'm just, like, it really just, like, really did, like, the really entertaining live. And on the network, while it did still come off pretty good, it just really, like, uh, there are, like, some people, like, I watched one Drick's uh, review of this, this show, and he just says that he feels that this was overrated because he just feels like the first three, th or the first two-thirds of uh, this match was, like, really boring, boring and stuff, and I guess I can see why he feels that way, just because, yeah, yeah, I mean, there really was just, like, a pretty large lack of elimination throughout the match, like, there were, like, quite the number of times in this, uh, match where there were, like, it kind of took a while for people to really get eliminated, like, there was, like, a 10-minute period between the first and second eliminations in this match, and, yeah, there was, like, quite long periods of eliminations before, and, uh, yeah, and let me just talk about something real quick, I mean, when Charlie Flair came out, like, Corey Graves, or was it, uh, Tom Phelps, yeah, one of them, was saying that, Ric Flair entered at number one in 1992. You idiots. Ric Flair was number three in that Royal Rumble. All right? Gosh. I just thought I said this before. How It just is so irritating how WWE never remembers their their past. So, yeah, that's kind of annoying. But, yeah, they're idiots. Ric Flair was number three in the 92 Royal Rumble, not number one. All right. But, yeah, like I said, this just, yeah, this definitely did come off better, a lot better her live than it did here. I mean, it was still overall good hit on the network, but yeah, just yeah, I'm like starting can kind of see now rewatching it on the network why people could kind of see how there were boring spots in this, and yeah, there were, but yeah, there was still like some good action here. Action here, I mean, yeah, definitely like like what I was saying earlier with like this paper this the show on the network not even doing justice to how hot the crowd was for Becky Lynch here. This is another example of that because when Becky Lynch like came out, like when her music hit when she was allowed to replace Lana in this match, the crowd just was absolutely hot as hell for that. And here just some um, while well, you can see like the crowd did like it. Like it was not nearly as it didn't like wasn't nearly as loud on the network as it was live. Like the crowd was a lot louder live then it came off on the network so yeah but yeah still an overall good match match live but or on the network but yeah just like was a lot more entertaining watching it live so yeah and and then uh daniel bryan and aj styles i was like i was saying in the live box video like there were like people reviewing it that were kind of saying that this was this was kind of disappointing i can kind of see I'm seeing now why they feel that way, because, yeah, I even told you guys, like, live, like, not everyone was really into this match, because they were, like, worn out from the Rumble match, and, yeah, there were, like, some people chanting, this is boring during this match, match and stuff, but, yeah, that, yeah, but, yeah, here, like, like, you can't even hear those, this is boring chants, yeah, the camera really didn't, like, pick up the audio of that, and stuff, and so, yeah, I feel like the crowd actually does seem, like, a lot more silent and dead during the match, so, yeah, this was a kind of a problem with the match, because it did kind of bring it down, because there was no crowd, but, yeah, even with that also, like I was saying in the live review, like, people were disappointed by this, because by both being O'Brien and AJ Styles, this could have been a lot better, and could have, so, yeah, but, but, yeah, it did overall still come across as a good match, not a great one. And, yeah, definitely probably a big letdown considering their uh, standards, but it was still a good match overall. Overall stuff, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, both matches, well, yeah, both ways, live and here on the network, it just kind of seemed like both ways how they were, like, let down, you know, let downs or just, like, underwhelming, and they're pretty much the same ways. So, yeah. Yeah. And, uh... And then Lesnar and Balor, uh, this match pretty much came off the same way here on the network as it did live. I mean, that's something I didn't talk about when I did the live thoughts video was how, like, during this match, Brock Lesnar was, like, uh, holding on to his, uh, gut in this match at the whole point. It was like he was hurting and stuff. <laughs> like, I didn't know if it was, like, because, like, Finn Balor was, like, hitting him there and because, like, if you know, if you remember, Brock Lesnar did have his uh, diverticulitis issues years ago. 
So, yeah, I didn't know if, like, Finn Balor was attacking there. Like, Brock Lesnar was, like, there's something going on with him. Like, he's having, like, some sort of internal injury or internal pain for something. Yeah, so I really wasn't too sure what that was. And so, yeah, I'm not sure if, like, this is, like, leading to something. Like, if Brock Lesnar does help, like, have a problem, if he's, like, going to be going to have this problem taken care of, I really don't know, like, what's going on on stuff. But, yeah. But, yeah, this match pretty much came off the same way. The, uh, on the network as it did live. I mean, of course, like, like once again, this is something else where just the, without that atmosphere and the uh, crowd behind Finn Balor and stuff, this really doesn't seem like as, you're not really as into it. But yeah, yeah, it was still overall a good match overall, and it pretty much did come off the same way uh, on the pay-per-view or on the network as it did live. So, yeah. And then finally, the Men's Royal Rumble match, uh, match, uh, you know, once again, like, you can't really, uh, like, you don't, like I was saying in the library, just the, the atmosphere for this match, especially, like, for all the, uh, surprise entrants in this match, like, it really did, like, make the Rumble, like, as awesome as it was live. Here, like, once again, just without that atmosphere, it really doesn't make it, like, as exciting, but it this was still overall a really good to great Royal Rumble match. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I was saying in the live review, or in the live thoughts video, like, whenever there was, like, a surprise entry, like, an NXT guy come in, and out, like, the crowd just went absolutely nuts for that. For that, like, when, uh, Johnny Gargano and Pete Dunne and, like, a lot of those other guys came out, the crowd just went absolutely insane for that. And here you really don't see that. I mean, and, yeah, you can, like, hear, like, the cheering for whenever the any NXT guy came out, but yeah, you know, just like without, but yeah, it doesn't come across on the pay-per-view as it does live, so yeah, so yeah, and uh, yeah, I didn't even mention like in the live thoughts video that no way Jose came out and he only lost like two seconds at the same time as the Warlord in 1989, so yeah. So yeah, and yeah, Bobby Lashley like only lasted like 13 seconds in the match, and uh, Tyus O'Neil only lasted like 5 seconds, Jinder Mahal lasted only 30, so yeah, there was quite a few uh, short amounts of time in this Royal Rumble, but it was still like a really, really good to great Royal Rumble match. And yeah, and <laughs> yeah, you, I know I didn't even say in the live thoughts video either that, like when Nia Jack came in and like the Dolph Ziggler, Rey Mysterio, and Randy Orton all attacked her, like, after Randy Orton hit that RKO and the crowd went nuts, like, there were actually some holy shit chants during that, after that, so, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, the Rumble match overall, like, uh, the in-ring work overall, it did, like, pretty much come across the same way as it did live, but just, like, without that, like, great, uh, atmosphere of the crowd and whenever, and for all the pops for the surprise entrance of the match, like, it really, like, couldn't get me, like, as, uh, into the match as I was live, but it was still overall a really good to great Royal Rumble, just not as good as live due to the lack of the atmosphere, but it was still overall good with a good result with Seth Rollins winning. Yeah, I was like, I actually was predicting Seth Rollins to win, and yeah, I, just because like I didn't know, since like there were like quite the lack of announced entrance in the match, like there were like 10 unannounced entrance for this match, I wasn't too sure if who really was going to win my pick was Seth Rollins, and I was actually kind of shocked that I was actually right about it, so, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, it was overall a pretty good to great Rumble match, so, and that's all overall, I definitely do think that it did come off better live than it did on the network, but still overall, I mean, it was still, did come up, did turn out pretty good to great on the network as well, so yeah, like, you can see why people really did seem to love it on the network, but if you were there live, you probably would have loved it a lot more like I did, so, yeah, so, that's really just my take on it, I mean, I really don't know, I mean, I mean, there probably are some shows out there that, while people did, like, seem to get, like, the more, uh, enjoyment factor out of it, like, maybe it did come across better, like, what you got on paper for you and stuff, I'm not sure if there really are any shows like that, but are there any, like, any wrestling events that you have attended live, and it just like while well, you did like have a better time in, at it live than watching it on paper, maybe like it and the sh the show overall did like turn out better on pay per view rather than live. 
I mean, yeah, let me know if you had, like, an experience like that where the show came off, like, overall better live, or, or on pay-per-view than it did live. Let me know if that's ever happened with you, but yeah. Yeah, for this show, it definitely did come across better live than it did on the pay-per-view, but the pay-per-view overall was still overall really good to great. All right, so that's really my take on it. All right, so I guess that's all I can really say about the Rumble, how it came off on the network. So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this this video. Yeah, and stay tuned because I do have kind of a lot of uh, something planned for tomorrow in honor of the occasion. Yeah, you can probably kind of guess what it is, but yeah, stay tuned tomorrow for me to make the video about it. All right, so, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.